All right, Tom Cruise, lend us your energy. Come on, we need it. Citizen, please! That guy, I swear. <laughs> Wait! Here we go! wasting money here today we're going to be on the hunt once more for that kaioken goku we're starting out at a target here and probably going to do three targets and uh two walmarts today switch it up some so let's get in there and see if they have one so i'm over here in kind of that anime section at target don't see anything first glance but did see this dragon stars the target exclusive nobody cares you know at the end of the day nobody cares and then they have some of those Dragon Ball Evolve back here. Looks like they have the Gohan. That's only at Target as well. Hey champ, that's really interesting. Next time, keep it to yourself. Just looking, looking for some stuff here. I was open. What? I don't know. Who would want something from that? And then just kind of looking behind stuff. Um, you can see some of those are on clearance and look hello there boom <laughs> so it looks like someone was hiding one of those freezes Donkey! there's a bunch of them before but yeah maybe they're trying to get that one on clearance who knows <laughs> loser and i didn't hide that one i already had two freezes so <laughs> but yeah they have some other stuff here got bob ross when i go home the only power i have is over the garbage check I can take it to the street all by myself. Yeah, let's look at the toys section because that's where all the freezes were. So we'll see if they have anything there. All right, going down to the toys now. You can see there's one freezer right here. <laughs> Hello, monkeys. So I guess there's only two left from what there were. They're usually up here, but it looks like they got Barbie version uh, Goku. <laughs> Goku Blue. Let me know if you guys get these limit breakers. I mean, they they seem all right, but it's kind of, you know, like a Barbie. Like Bro, what are you talking about, man? But yeah, then they have that Target exclusive Dragon Stars, and then a bunch of these Evolve up here. So, they have like Gogeta, Vegito. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Well, I thought you'd might like some coffee. All right, Tom Cruise, lend us your energy. We need it. We need it. This is the good old Faithful, where they had that <laughs> fan of the opera last time. I see a bunch of new stuff, like out. You suck. That's new. But I'm not seeing any figures still. No. None down there. You suck. Man. Still nothing. Raphael. They got the dragon stars. Some people say whenever they stock the dragon stars, they either come with the SH figure arts or they don't. So usually just gotta wait another week if they have the dragon stars, but yep. Well I guess we'll look at the next one. Still nothing at this one. All right, well, we're back in town here. Let's see. Oh, look. What are you looking at? I got Vegeta. Uh, wait, Boy, Mr. Goku. God. Then we got Frieza. Monkey! And then Goku Black. Rose. Goku Black. In a while in the stores. So it's good that they're. I believe they may have reissued him, but I'm not sure. You have entered the name, not sure. Yeah, he's been gone for a while, but still no Kaioken Goku here. Where is it? 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 All right, so I'm in a new Target here in a new area, so I've never been to this one before. And already, I mean, their Funko Pop game is pretty good. I never see 
Dragon Ball Z Funko Pops, but See, nobody cares. Yeah. yeah, they just have a bunch of stuff. I got Flash. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Gremlins. I got Demon Slayer. Man, this cool. shit has that little bitch crying all the time. We got some stuff hidden back there. Eden. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see any figures. But yeah, let's go check the toy section. This is one of the biggest targets I've been to. But yeah, I don't see any so far. This target is huge. I got all this Lego stuff. It's pretty cool. See if they have any figures. Alright, guys. <laughs> Look. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What? Right, how many should I get? <laughs> That's the question. Look at all these Vegeta. God. Monkey D. Lofi, too? Lofi? I don't give a fuck. Alright. Sorry, I'm like freaking out here. There was like two different sections and I didn't know where it would be. So, <laughs> all right, yeah, we're gonna, I think I'm gonna get two. We'll get two. All right. All right, see, I was freaking out because they had this section, which kind of like at the one back at my area, they have kind of like some of the anime and the figures there, but none were over there. And then I usually check this aisle too in the toys. In my section, that's where like all those freezes usually were. But then <laughs> I walk over here and in the corner of my eye, I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna get two, but yeah, these are in really good condition hopefully they let me check out so we'll see all right everyone so i'm back at my house now i was actually in houston for anime bruce fest all weekend and i had to wait to open these you know with all of you guys so i got these two at a target and funny story you know kind of what people have been seeing online too is that they weren't actually in the system that system is our enemy so check this out. And that's the address, by the way, if you are in town in Houston. So I got these on Saturday, I believe this was, kind of after all the stuff at Anime Verse Fest that day. But mm, yeah. yeah, basically, you know, it showed up as unidentified. I just told the cashier, I'm like, hey, you know, they had some other ones on the shelf too. They're showing up for $34.99 each, which is what they did cost. And you can see there, you know, unidentified. So they weren't even in the system. And pretty crazy that I got this. You know, I've been looking for it since December when they first dropped in Walmarts and Targets. And I just had to end up going out of town for a anime con, <laughs> so to speak, to actually get it. And here's the barcode there. If you want to search it in your area. I mean, I've asked some of the employees before you know to put that barcode in because i've seen it and they they still aren't able to pull it up i mean if they don't have it they don't really have it in their system so still kind of hard to find but they are showing up in targets so definitely check your target and again there's that address if you are in the area uh one of the actual other uh viewers he commented <laughs> it, it was kind of that same day i believe or maybe the day after i found these He's like, yeah, you know, I found them at that same one and we were kind of commenting back and forth. So hopefully that didn't ruin the surprise for you guys. But I also have another surprise. I got a package at um, Anime Verse Fest in the mail and I opened that up in the hotel. So let's go to that and then we can kind of get back into this. Bro. <laughs> oh, man. That is what we've been waiting for, boys. All right, so as you see, I actually got one from Mr. Collector. 
you know, by the way, go go check out his channel. Awesome dude. Um, he mailed that, and, you know, we, we kind of made a deal on that. He found some extra in his area, like I mentioned when I was opening that up. But, yeah, he mailed that to me. I paid, you know, the basically the cost of it, $35 plus the shipping. And then I sent him over a Frieza as well, final form, uh, because he did need one of those. And, you know, I wanted to give him something extra because, I mean, at the time, these were going for about, you know, 120 150 bucks. Now that they are showing up at Target, they're coming in you know, around $80 range, but you know, so still picking them up for $35 is pretty good, but check this out. So now I have three of them and then look at anime verse fest. I got this signed by none other than Sean Schemmel, the Goku himself. And I got it authenticated there. So yeah, I mean, this might be the only officially signed Kaioken Goku. <laughs> And that, I mean, that's staying in the collection forever. I mean, that's, you know, definitely a fitting tale. Uh, just, you know, keep up with whatever you're doing. Never give up. I know it sounds cliche, but, you know, I've been searching for this guy for quite some time. And then to get one, you know, actually signed by Goku himself was pretty good. And, you know, Mr. Collector definitely came in clutch. I just happened to find these, you know, <laughs> kind of the same day when I was opening up this package, but I already had him, you know, send me one, uh, basically before Anime Verse Fest. So I, I already had one here, but you know, it's, it's just good that I was actually able to find them as well and kind of complete that hunt. So I, I wish I did get one of these signed, but I found these like Saturday night and I didn't end up going to the, the con on Sunday. So it was good to have this one in hand already and be able to get this signed by Goku because probably won't really get that chance too often. I was just looking at his page, uh, Sean Schemmel's Instagram, and it shows, you know, everywhere he's going to be for the next like few months, what cons. Usually they're in California, which is pretty far from where I'm at in Texas. And then I saw one in Houston, which was just, you know, a few hours away from where I live. So yeah, ended up picking that one. I'm going to have a video coming out on the actual Anime Verse Fest uh, next time. So, you know, stay tuned for either Wednesday or Saturday for that. And then in my previous video, I actually got the old uh, Kaoken Goku. So now, you know, in a future video, I'm going to be comparing the old one, or sorry, the old one and the new one and kind of getting both of those out of the box and comparing those, um, so, you know, it's a good one. I'm going to keep this one so that I can open it up and everything because I'm never going to open this one <laughs> that's signed. That's just going to go on display for the rest of my life. And then got this one to open, but I have something special in store for this one. So, yeah, let me know in the comments. I mean, if you were at Anime Verse Fest, um, there's you know, some other cons going on. But yeah, definitely check out Sean Schemmel's page if you do have a Kaioken Goku and get that signed by him. I mean, who knows how much this will be worth in the future. But yeah, as of right now, I think I'm the only one, so. Come at me, bro. Yeah. And then in a future video as well, you know, we'll be comparing the old Kaioken Goku and this new one, so. Stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see everyone next time.